uh, see what we could do in terms of branding our programs and that sort of thing. Um, but then I became intrigued by the idea that all of you, when you come to our athletic events and it's suddenly a time out, the first thing all of you do is you reach in your pocket and you pull out your phone. And so we started talking as a marketing staff and a communication staff on how we could possibly create this interactive environment during games that made it more fun and enjoyable beyond just spectating. And so we tried an experiment last uh, winter with a hockey game. And the first thing we did, and Michael was a big part of this, we uh, had a recruitment plan uh, of followers. So we targeted all these groups, we retweeted, we sent all these things out so I could generate a lot of followers. And then during the game, right before face-off, I tweeted, have you ever played Simon Says? I'm Simon. And then about 20 minutes later, I tweeted at the 11 minute mark, starting in section six, do the wave going clockwise. And I'll be darned if they didn't do it. <laughs> now, it didn't last real long. People, the game was going on. But we were trying to do uh, experiments to test the power of making the experience for our fans that much more enjoyable than what we could do during the game. So that's really how we're approaching it. 